Hey gamers, Stogie here, and welcome to the second part of my two-part series, talking about whether or not you should buy Titanfall. So, if you haven't seen episode one, uh, check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description. But in episode one, we talked about the good things about Titanfall, the fresh changes with it, some of the things that I really liked and was looking forward to. And in this episode, we're going to talk about... I have it labeled the bad, but it, it's somewhat the bad and the unknown. Because remember that this is a beta. This is not the full game we're playing. There's a lot of details for Titanfall that uh, we don't know. But these are, I, I guess we should say, my concerns at this point from playing the beta for, uh, you know, 10 or so hours. So let's just get right into it. Number one, and I have seen this all over Twitter from a lot of people that I follow and that follow Digital Warfare and have been tweeting us, Bot AI. A lot of people are concerned about the grunts and the specters in this game and, and how, I mean, how else do you say, how dumb they are. They just kind of look at you, you can reload, you can run out of bullets right in front of them, reload, and then still kill them, and they don't even put a bullet into you. They are definitely dumb. Um, I'm not sure that I think that this is 100% a negative or a bad thing, but overall I think the impression of it is pretty negative. People don't want to be playing a game and, and feel like they're just kind of running around hacking hacking down paper bots that um, aren't fighting back. That's not really that fun. So uh, I'm, I am concerned about that. I'm interested to see what they do with it in the full game, if they tweak it at all. I'm sure that there's uh, ways that they can adjust that somewhat in the game. So that's, that's uh, one point of contention for maybe being somewhat worried about this game. Uh, next thing would be things like the auto-locking pistol. So if you played... Uh, the beta at all, I'm sure that you tried out the auto-locking pistol. They make you use it in the tutorial in the beginning to where they're showing you what the game's going to be like. Um, and I don't know that I per se think that that gun's OP, but things like that are just a little bit hairy and, and they worry me. So I do want to keep a, keep an eye out for things like that. And I would definitely say that those don't put them... They're not, it's not on the good side of, of what the game has to offer. Um, variety. Time will tell on this. So the beta actually, I don't know if it did for you guys, but it got boring for me after three or four hours of playing. It just felt like I was doing the same thing over and over and over. So this is another one that remains to be seen when the full game comes out. But the games all felt the same, like different maps, different guns. I could, I could try out different things, but the game still felt the same. So I'm hoping that with more Titan variety and more gun variety, uh, this won't be a concern. But it is a concern for me right now. Um, and with that, I think, goes repetitive bot killing. I I know a lot of you are, are trying to seek out pilots and get those pilot kills, but it's really hard sometimes. Um, and it's something that I think that they could do better. The, the repetitive bot killing gets old, and then also the pilots, it's hard to tell the pilots from the bots sometimes. Actually, a lot of the time. The, about the only way I can tell them apart is that the pilots jump and have the jetpacks, and the grunts don't. Like, they just kind of run around on the ground. So if a pilot's running in the middle of them, it's really hard to tell... Uh, which one's the pilot and which one's the grunt. Um, just a little tactic that it kind of annoyed me in the game was the auto ledge climbing. So like if you're on a ledge, it automatically climbs your guy up. Uh, and in it, several situations, I wanted to drop down through a hole in the roof or something, and it took me like 10 tries to do it. I don't know if this happened to you guys, but it happened to me repeatedly, and I thought it was kind of annoying. I would have liked to see like hit A again or something or, or uh, hit jump button again to kind of climb on the ledge otherwise you kind of slide down it would also put more technicalities to the jumping and wall climbing um, a downside I see to this game is that it's not going to be released on PS4 I think that there's a massive player base that is being missed by not releasing this on PS4 and I don't know that PC players are going to give it the longevity I mean games like Battlefield are so much more complex than this game um, I just I, I don't know if this game will make it for sure on on uh, PC they're definitely playing up the Xbox one side of it but they're missing a huge, huge market and not having it on PS4. I also think the skill gap in this game could be a bit of a problem. Um, this game feels like most anybody can pick it up and do well. Uh, I think that that could be put to rest when the full game comes out and there's a lot of complexity and variety to the game. But from the beta and the way it plays, it really feels like anybody can pick up this game and do well. And um, I think anybody should be worried about that. I think people who put time into a game and, and try really hard should be rewarded for learning the game and improving their skills. And if there's no skill gap, uh, something like that won't happen. Like right here, you know, the skill gap. I pull out my launcher and shoot this thing in the head and kill myself. I'm an idiot, like, but yeah. Uh, so keep moving on. I, I, I think no pilot versus pilot game mode is a downside, and there may be something like that in the game, but 
Uh, as Respawn's been asked, asked about that to this point, they have said that there will be nothing like that in the game. The bots, the AI is part of the experience, but I think they could really benefit from like a 12v12 or 8v8 pilot only game mode with slightly smaller maps. I think that that could be really, really fun. So. Those are pretty much all my concerns, guys, from playing the beta. I, I do think that the, the pluses outweigh the minuses. I think that this game has a ton of potential. I'm slightly worried it'll turn out like Crisis 3, where it's an awesome game, but people just kind of stop playing it. I hope that doesn't happen, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave me your thoughts. Um, and if, if you guys aren't aware of what I'm talking about with Crisis, Crisis 3 was an awesome multiplayer game, but the servers just ran dry after like three weeks. Now, I don't think that this game will be three weeks, but it remains to be seen. Again, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.